There are cases when we not only want to plot uh, or use one plot, but two different types of plots and combine them together. So this would be the case if, for example, we have a scatter plot in which we um, um, visualize our data and then add a model to it for which we need maybe a parametric plot. And then we want to combine these and then we have a combined plot. And how this might look like, um, I, I'll show an example for how this might look like. So I prepared some data here, which look like this, or in table form, look like this. So you can see there are two columns of data, and we can plot these against each other. So this is magnesium, this is silicon, so we can plot magnesium versus silicon here. This is what I'm doing now, making a list plot of these two, which looks like this. Now, in cases, if there are um, data that are a little far off, um, they might not be shown, which is the case here. And therefore, I use a command so I can see all the data. Now, these are all the data these were hidden previously. And I want to make the plot a little bit more um, readable. So I add a frame. I um, add some frame styling, like should be black. Otherwise, it's a little gray and 16. And then the image size should be a little larger. And of course, we need some... Um, labeling for the um, axis. So on the x-axis, this is silicon in weight percent. And on the y-axis, this is magnesium also in weight percent. So this should now look much better. And basically, we are done with the first um, plot because this is now showing the data here. But we want to continue and add a model here, which should be, in this case, fractional crystallization. And I prepared a command for this. And in this command, first we need the amount of material that is extracted, say 0.1, which is then 10% extracted. And it should be magnesium, so we should start with about 24 weight percent, and we need to say it's magnesium, and then what mineral it is. And this is why I have this prepared this here, because um, so I don't make a mistake with the spelling, because um, otherwise it won't work. I copy this in here, so the right is the one you want to extract. And if I execute it, it calculates it. So this will be the remaining magnesium in the melt after 10% frost right is extracted. And of course, then I can easily plot this if this here is a um, parameter f, for example, the amount of extracted frost right, and this should be from 0 to 1. I can plot it, and after about 60 something percent, um, all the magnesium is extracted. So, therefore, I'm not using one, but say 0.6 or so. Um, then, I want to do the same for silicon. So, I make a list here of two of these with two of these functions or commands. And in the second, I put in silicon, and silicon should start at about 21 percent. So, now I have silicon additive, which is the orange line. So in this plot, I now have the um, magnesium composition of the melt in blue and of silicon in orange. By this plot, I cannot add to this plot because there is no amount of fractionated material in this plot. There's only magnesium and silicon, which is both on the same axis here, but different minerals. So what I'm doing is I'm making a parametric plot. And in the parametric plot, then I will plot magnesium with a silicon, but because silicon is the x-axis, I put silicon here and magnesium here. We won't change a thing down there. Um, well, it does because uh, the, the numbers are different. So it starts and, and then now silicon is blue. And I said silicon is 21 and magnesium 24. All right, so this is blue is now silicon. Orange is uh, the magnesium. Now make the parametric plot. And in the parametric plot, the silicon is plotted on the uh, x-axis versus the magnesium on the y-axis. And now I want to add this plot to this one here. So I, um, I meant this here and used the show command around these two. Now I have the model inside this plot. So I combined the scatter plot with the parametric plot. And I've done this, I've prepared this here to illustrate it a little bit more nicely. It's the same data. And now here's fraction crystallization. And I can move the slider here 
and it shows how the melt evolves. It also has some callouts um, illustrating the amount of force to write extracted here from zero to um, 60 percent. I can then make the same for insert height and see this is going to a different direction. I can of course again move the slider to see this a little bit better or um, albite, spinel. I could add any other mineral and this is how I want to combine um, different kinds of plots like scatter and parametric plot to have a model and the data within the same plot and you can do this with other plots as well of course. So this is one example what it means to combine plots.